Hello, broker community. My name is Brianna, and I'm going to show you how to use Canva. So first, we're going to go to canva.com, and you're going to create your login. You can use Gmail, a personal email, or your Facebook to create your login. Once you are all set up, it will take you to the Canva home screen that you see in front of you. Go ahead and take a minute, scroll down, and check out all the different templates that Canva has to offer. There's a ton of stuff to work with. We're going to create our own design today. So go ahead up to the top and find that purple button that says create a design. Once you click that, you'll see a drop down and there's a bunch of different suggestions of projects that you can work on. We're gonna do a Facebook post today. So I just have to type in Facebook post, enter and hover and click on the section that says Facebook post. All right, this is your creative studio. So if you look over, you'll see it says templates and a bunch of different ideas that you can run with. I'm going to take you down our toolbar really quick just so you can get an idea of everything Canva has to offer. All right. So tem templates, like I said, they are a great starting point. If creativity is not your strong suit or you just don't have the time to devote to a blank slate project, utilize a Canva template. They have a lot of cute stuff for the holidays different things that go with different ideas. If you have a particular idea in mind, search for, search it. You might be able to find something that speaks directly to the idea that you're thinking of. All right, next we have uploads. So uploads is where you can upload any business logos. If you're working with another company, upload their logo in there. If you have pictures of borrowers, throw it in here, employees, yourself, anything like that. Because once you upload an image into Canva, it will be stored in your library for you to utilize on any project. So you don't have to worry about constantly re-uploading, looking for an image. It will all be stored right here. All right, next we have photos. These are all high resolution photos. Um, I really like using them if you are talking to a certain audience, if you're trying to target first time home buyers, people looking for a reverse mortgage, look up some images that go with that loan scenario or that go with that certain audience um, and use it in your graphic. We have elements. I love elements. It's probably my favorite part. There's a ton of different fun stickers, um, things that go with holidays. There's shapes that you can use. Um, we also have frames here that you can plug photos into charts, anything like that. These are all ways to elevate the overall look of your graphic. Next is text. Text, they offer you some fun standout texts that you can use on your graphics. They go with different holidays or just ones that are eye-catching. Um, I like to use the add a heading text because you can actually pick a font and stick to a font that is on brand with your business, which is what we aim to do here. All right, so let's get started. So I have a secret that I use every single time I'm making a graphic. I like to use those um, core colors of AIM, which are all of our blues. So I will go to upload, click on the AIM logo. You'll see it popped up on my post. All right, so next I click on this white background here go up to the top under background color, click again. And you'll see this is a bunch of different colors that I can use in my background. But since I like to stay with the colors of AIM, since that photo, since the business logo is already uploaded, it's provided me with all the different colors that are in that logo. So let's go ahead and we'll use blue today. And all I'm doing is one single click and it goes directly over to my Facebook post. All right, so next I'm going to add some text. I want this to be a Happy New Year's post, so I'm going to click on Add a Heading. It is all highlighted, so all you have to do is backspace, type in your message, and get all caps. Okay, so once you have that, you can click on your image and you can move it wherever you want around the screen. You can make it bigger, smaller, and you'll see that there is a guide when I move it. So I'm gonna to stick to that guide right there. I want it to be right across the top line and directly in the middle of my post. 
All right, so once your message is created, make sure it's still clicked on, and I'm going to change the color. Again, because my AIM logo is on this graphic, it will provide me all the AIM colors to use throughout my design. So I'll make it this nice darker blue. I can go through and pick a text that I think is on brand with AIM. And I think the one we have is pretty good. All right. So next I want to add some elements that make it stand out and really go with the Happy New Year feel. So I'm gonna go over to the elements section, type in fireworks. And here you'll see I have a bunch of different options for fireworks. Some are free and the ones with a little crown that say pro, those you have to pay for. I'm gonna stick with the free ones today. So all you have to do is when you find a firework or an image that you like, one simple click and it goes directly to your graphic. Okay, once you have it in the spot that you want and the size that you want, you'll see that the colors that are in that firework appear up on the top bar. You can click on those and change them to, meet, to match the colors that you want shown on your graphic. So again, I'm gonna keep it going AIM style. We'll make this one a little lighter. Perfect. All right, so same thing. You can add as many as you want, change them up in any way that you want. And it's just easy as one click. Perfect. Okay, so from here, I would like to add a frame where we can show a fun picture. So I'll just go down and you'll see under frames, there's a bunch of different options. I really like the circle because it reminds me of the fireworks. So I will add that circle frame off to the side. And then we go under uploads once that frame is in there. I really like this picture of Mark and Katie. So to get it in the frame, I click once on the picture, hold down on my mouse and drag the photo over to the frame. Okay, once it's drug over to the frame, it clicks directly in there and you are good to go. All right, so I want to spruce up my logo just a little bit. So I'm gonna get rid of the original AIM logo since I have the colors I need. I'm gonna go back to uploads and I'm going to use the white AIM logo, since it's gonna stand out a little bit better, make it smaller. And I'm going to use the Brokers Are Better logo. This is a great way that you can co-brand anything that AIM makes that is consumer forward or anything that you wanna to use to elevate your business that we've created for you. You can simply add your business logo to your graphic and have it right next to that AIM logo. A little close, move it over just a little bit. So this is just a rough idea of how to make a graphic on Canva. Now, I would say I'm happy with the design of my graphic and I now need to save it. So to save it, you're gonna go to this arrow that you see up top, click down, click on where it says PNG, it might say JPEG, anything like that. I save all of my pictures under PNG because it's a nice high quality and it is easy to upload onto Facebook. From there, you just click download and that's it. You have your photo ready. It will be in your download section on your computer. You can rename it, you can store it wherever you want. But if you have any questions, if you need help with any designs, please message me. I am happy to hop on a Zoom call or help you in any way that I can. Thanks, guys.